bringing you key insights, tips, and advice from the brightest minds in the Canadian franchise industry. This is the Franchise Canada Chats podcast. Welcome to the Franchise Canada Chats podcast, where we take you into the world of franchising. Our interviews are with franchisees, franchisors, and industry leaders who give on the pulse expert advice and share their franchising insights and experiences. I'm your host, Lauren. This is season three, episode four. In this episode, I talked to Jamie Berube, president and CEO of WP Creations, who joined the head office team in 2013 and eventually became sole franchisor after their founder retired. Originally called the We Piggies Foundation, Jamie used her experience in sales and training to build her team of home-based franchisees by offering extensive training and an ongoing support system. Now, WP Creations is thriving with more than 30 locations spread coast to coast while keeping the company's original traditions. Here, Jamie dishes about the perks of running a home-based business, how she supports her female-led team of entrepreneurs, how to keep franchisees connected through the long distance, including a newly introduced buddy system, what she adores most about running WP Creations, and much more. Enjoy the episode. To start, can you tell us a bit about WP Creations and, and how it got its start? Yeah, absolutely. So Debbie Cornelius is the founder of the company, and she really just wanted to be able to create a keepsake for her husband for Father's Day. Um, she wanted to be able to capture her two girls' uh, little hands and feet. <laughs> And she is the most determined person that I know. So when she set herself out on a mission, she didn't just make a fabulous keepsake, but she found a really safe way of doing so. Um, So Father's Day was a success, uh, but also many people started seeing what it was that she created. So there was a natural interest from other families to have it done. She started a company called Pata Cakes, and that's where she was doing this for other people. And when she realized that people were driving hours and hours away just to have this done, she went, wait a minute, I see a business opportunity right. so that more people can get this done. And that's when she looked into franchising and the company became We Piggies and Paws. And now today we're known as WP Creations. So that's a bit of uh, the progression of where it started and where it is today. Okay, and so what attracted you to kind of coming on board and and becoming president and CEO, and and what were you doing before that? Well, actually, I had had a keepsake done at one of the Oakville locations when my son was just three months old, and I remember asking the owner at the time why they, what did they like about it, why they were doing it, and it was a very unusual question, but I think subconsciously there, I, I must have known I had some interest. I mean, I never intended to be a stay-at-home mom, to be very honest, and it's one of the best gifts ever that has come from this, uh, but she liked being able to raise her children and have that flexibility, so fast forward to me going back to work after mat leave, I had uh, the company I'd worked for uh, was an American bank and this was back in 2008 and I thought, ooh, things aren't looking so good. I want to look into a plan B. So I started a franchise with Wee Piggies and Paws in the Hamilton area. So again, Debbie's determined. She created an amazing product. But when I started as a franchisee, I had had a lot of success and I had other franchisees coming to me. And then Debbie and I went, wait a minute we see an opportunity (laughs) to now we have this amazing product. It's time to actually grow the support and training system. So in essence, that's what I developed for the company. And I made my partnership, so to speak, official with Debbie in 2013. So when she had retired in 2016, it really was just a natural progression for me to take over that full president role of the company. Okay, awesome. Why is running a home-based business with WP Creations a great opportunity for females across Canada? And and what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of that? Well, every franchisee, so every family who purchases one of our franchise locations, they often come in with different reasons as to why uh, they want to be home or why they want to run a home-based business. Primarily when I always, I often reach out to my team to find out their whys, find out uh, what some of their uh, opportunities and challenges are. And when I hear from them, they love the ability to be able to be part of raising their children. So 
primarily that seems to be the main consensus of what the, the team enjoys most. Um, and second to that is the flexibility. Every family leaves a different uh, schedule, maybe with their partner, with their kids' activities, different age children. And with one of our franchises, you're able to control your schedule. So you work your clients in, in pocket periods of time that you have available. So those are some great advantages. Some of the disadvantages are that they haven't been business owners before. So while they're learning how to be parents and go through the natural stages of parenthood, they are also learning how to be a business owner and learning how to improve their confidence and overcome obstacles and be motivated. When you're home, it's, it's easy to just be home. And it's about being with your children, being present in their lives and having fun. But there's also, you have to find the ability and that's where our extra coaching comes uh, in, in play here where we help them. You have to find the ability to also run your business as a business and be the professional that, the best professional that you can be. For sure, okay. And so what kind of support do you provide to, to the franchisees? We have a ton of support, maybe too much support. But that being said, again, I believe everybody is different and unique and that's okay too. So that's why we have various tools. We have our online university platform and that's basically everything you need to know about how to in a platform that you have access to 24 hours a day, which mm -hmm. is great. But sometimes you need more of that one-to-one -one or you need to get clarification. So having a support coach, we have a business coach that they can reach out to. And we also have online forums. So where they can post their question and really any member of WP Creations, any franchisee will reach out any hour of the day and provide some guidance, some insight, some samples, depending on what the question is. And lastly, this year, I've been really proud of our buddy system. This is where we pair like-minded franchisees with uh, similar personalities, so it's a fun experience and likely similar goals as well. And that way they have that, you know, that one person to go to where maybe they don't have to feel embarrassed about certain questions, right? Uh, so the buddy system has been going over quite well. That's a great idea. Yeah, thanks. No problem. I wish I had a buddy when I was here. <laughs> I know, just that, that set person so you're not kind of reaching out and feeling like you're, you're pestering everyone all the time, maybe. Right, exactly. Your buddy doesn't mind at all. They actually just, they become your friend. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so what kind of qualities would, would make for the, the ideal franchisee for you? Honestly, for us, it's somebody who's open-minded, who's mm -hmm. coachable, who wants to be a part of a team, who realizes that mistakes are good things. Mistakes are stepping stones to growth. So we realize that not everybody who comes into our system has all the confidence and, and the know-how for all aspects of franchising and working with WP Creations, but we want them to be open uh, to accepting some of their faults and to allow us into their um, homes virtually, so to speak, to be able to help them get through that to be a balanced parent and a successful business owner. Oh, great. And so what are some of the challenges and strengths of having an entirely female team? Well, the, the strengths of having our team is that every person we onboard wants to be, become part of a bigger purpose. They see the value of what our brand offers parents and they step up to the plate and offer their expertise as different coaches. So our coaches within the system are franchisees themselves. We have Ashley, who's been our business coach. In fact, she's actually officially partnering with me at the head office level, which is nice. Um, from franchisee to franchisor, I mean, I've done it and I love that we have the opportunity for franchisees as well. We have Glennell, who's our marketing coach and she does marketing boot camp with the team twice a year. We have Jen who does our graphics and she's kind of been our go-to and Audrey was uh, a franchisee with us and is now my virtual assistant. And Rachel, she's a newbie. She's my awesome tech support. So I think the strengths of my team is that they're willing to come together and we provide them with an opportunity to really put that back into the franchise system. Uh, the challenges in, with our team is that we are 
all parents. I mean, it's open to moms, dads, even non-parents, but right now we're all, we're all parents and our children are at different stages and different challenges. So sometimes simply just coordinating a time where we can all chat, that seems to be the biggest consistent challenge that we have. Yeah, as a, as a mom of a two-year-old, I know I even, you know, trying to schedule a play day with someone when everyone has a different nap schedule or okay. there's just so many different things. So yeah, I can imagine that of challenges that's you can figure it out mm -hmm. everyone at least understands the the situation is they're all in the same boat right so that's good okay and so how do you keep your franchisees connected and involved with each other through the long distance yeah uh, we've been very fortunate over the years with with what technology has presented mm -hmm. to us uh, i find our zoom calls really the best way for us to connect and get to truly know somebody. Uh, we may not be in person, but we get to know the faces, we get to know their styles, we get to really see um, and hear who they are. So our Zoom calls have been the best form of connection. Uh, we do have, um, like I said, our buddy systems where we connect with one another. We have our online webinars. We have our online platforms. So through our various channels, we can really find what works for each individual and always stay connected. And I've always had an open door policy, same with any of our coaches, where really anybody can reach out at any time that they need that extra guidance or support. Okay. And so obviously uh, COVID-19 has affected pretty much everyone, I would say. Uh, so how has it affected uh, W creations, both for franchisees and, and for customers? Well, for us here, it's, it was really interesting because we had to pivot fast. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have had these ideas in the past of what we wanted our future to be. Uh, so we were able just to move them forward. Um, touching babies definitely became something that we could not continue to do mm -hmm. early into COVID. And even now we work on a good, better, best program where we provide the most, the safest possible for families. So what we've basically done is we've taken what we've know, what we know, we've put it in a box and it comes with a virtual artist. And that's really what makes um, our kits now, so to speak, unique from any other kit on the market is our materials are very fresh. They're just packaged just for that individual person. And in some parts of the country, they've been able to, uh, through social distancing, through outdoor appointments, been able to guide parents through capturing the 3D mold of their child's hand or foot, um, or in other locations with proper PPE, they've been able to do that for them. Um, but there's also this virtual option where a parent can pick up or have shipped the materials, and then they can take the mold and you have this one-on-one -on -one experience because the kits are as successful as the artist guiding the parents with the baby. Every baby is different. So by having a virtual artist, we can visually assess that baby and give the proper techniques for parents. So it's really been unique. Our team had to really pivot and have that open mind that I talk about um, to, and have confidence in themselves that they can do this. And the success of the program has blown us all away and parents, their feedback of being involved in the process, it's almost as if it's made it that much more special for them. And we've even had some parents purchase a franchise as a result because mm -hmm. it was such a magical experience. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And you know, some people may just prefer that kind of that virtual option now. So it's absolutely it's good to so be able to provide it. Way. Awesome. Okay, and so what would you say your, your biggest learnings have been throughout the past uh, six months or so? Biggest takeaways? Yeah, for sure. Um, by packaging up what we know and putting it in a box and being willing to share some of those techniques with parents, it really took us from a stage where I think we were a little bit maybe too protective of our know-how, too proprietary. And when we look at our mission and our vision of our goals being to see these keepsakes in every family's home, it really forced us to kind of open our minds to say, we realize that some of these other values are important, but they're not as important as keeping our mission alive and sharing what we can share with families to make sure that the end goal, they're successful in creating those handprints and footprints. And we have to have trust in our brand that our company's been around for a long time and that ultimately 
even with sharing a bit of our knowledge, that uh, the gratitude that our clients will have, they'll keep sharing our names with other families to allow us to be a part of that process with them. So what are some of your, your short-term and long-term goals for WP Creations? Well, short-term <laughs> is, I mean, take it one day at a time, yeah. right? That, that's all we can do. Um, I, we definitely want to think about long-term and, and be prepared for what that looks like. Uh, but really, that's, uh, that's a short-term goal is just to continue learning and mastering what we've pivoted to over the past few months. And long-term, we have new opportunities coming in the company that's going to allow us a, an, easier, an even easier opportunity to expand into the U.S. market because we really believe in every family having these keepsakes to treasure and value forever. And what, what do you love most about working with WP Creations and, and what do your kind of feedback do you get from your franchisees about what they love about it? Well, I think early on when I had said I, I created the system of, of training and support and I feel that that still fuels me today to know that I'm part of families' lives, um, women, when they're having children, it's, it's a new stage in their life and they're going through discovery and trying to find purpose and value in what they're doing, not just as a mom, but as a person. And I like that I can be there for them and be a part of that with them. That really feeds me well. And to know that we create these uh, precious little hands and feet to help parents in remembering the look and feel of their children when they were young is super valuable. It's I recognize that when a parent gets a, gets a, um, one of our keepsakes when their babies are young, it's adorable, it's cute, but I realize the long-term value is that much more precious. So when I hear feedback from clients that it is the, outside of the children themselves, it is the most precious thing in their home, it's very, very rewarding. And when I hear from my franchisees, uh, the gratitude that they've received from clients and the gratitude that they have for the person that they've become and the growth that they've had in their, with their journey with us, it's very humbling. It's, uh, it's, it's a reward in itself. It's not just a business, it's what we do for others that keeps me inspired. That's awesome. <laughs> so obviously it's kind of a, a stressful time for everyone. So what do you have any kind of uh, techniques or things that you've been doing to kind of help you unwind or stay motivated or just kind of get through this, uh, this time? I think planning. I think having a schedule is really important for a lot of people. Uh, as a home-based business, I've had the privilege to figure that out over the past decade. But I recognize that a lot of people haven't been home before to this extent. And it, it can be hard. I know everybody believes it is a, a gift and, and it can be, but it's not always that easy without some form of structure or routine. And that may look different for everybody, but we find that having a plan for each day, even if it's I'll eat by this time or have a shower or take some personal time, read a book, play with my kids, do some work. Having some form of plan creates a bit of that structure and you know what each day is going to look like. I know, it's good advice. It's, I find it's hard to, to keep on track with that kind of stuff, you know, with everything going on, but those basic things are, yeah, that really yeah. will help. My team even knows. I have set day, I have a structure and it's not perfect, I'm human. Mm -hmm. I have a structure for my personal and professional life. I schedule in cleaning floors and cleaning <laughs> and I know that that's what that day has and you know some days the day gets away from you but if you have some form of plan at least by the end of the day you feel like you've accomplished something you feel productive um, and by being organized any additional curveballs that life throws at you you're able to catch them and deal with them yeah for sure um are there any you're probably, I'm assuming you're pretty busy, but are there any kind of things you've been reading that you've really enjoyed or things you've binge watched or anything like that? Um, I'm not so much of a TV person. Yeah. Um, at times, I will catch myself watching some um, Hallmark movies. I am one of yes. the Hallmark movie watchers. They're easy while I work. 
Uh, but I do love reading and I'm reading an amazing book right now, Start With Why by Simon Sinek. And it's a book, as I, as I go through different Audible books, uh, you can either read them or listen to them through Audible. I share them with my team as well. And I have a lot of franchisees who listen to them as well. Um, that one to me is amazing. And I think it's a, a great way for even each of our franchisees to understand a little bit more about me and, and why I make the decisions I make for the company. Um, and you can really, when you think about any company in general, once you listen to that book and you make the connection, uh, it's like an aha moment, a light bulb moment. So a lot of what I already know is coming out through this book, but I l listen to these books and read these books as opportunities to share different training resources with my team to help them with their business as well. Awesome. Yeah. And, well, and, I, and I guess if you do like the Hallmark movies, you're in luck because they're coming soon. I, to, to be honest, I'm still watching Last Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> they're timeless yeah there'll be a new oh I don't know if there'll be a new batch we'll have to see right yeah I guess that's that's the issue is I started watching them a couple of years in a row and realized that they don't come out with new ones necessarily so that's right um yeah okay so do you have any um advice for for people who might be considering franchising right now yeah absolutely I think it's important to have an open mind um and to take a chance it's it's easy to be scared and that's a very normal, acceptable feeling, um, but find the right franchise. Find one that has passion, that has heart, has ability, and has proven to be there to support. Um, the one thing I've learned is I've met many of families with regrets, either not having the keepsake or not uh, buying into the franchise sooner, um, that looks different for everybody, but we've structured our business model in a way that it's affordable and it's worth the risk. And it's very, very rewarding, the gifts that we create families. So have an open mind. Okay. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? Uh, not much, except that my team is awesome. They're really, really awesome. Our franchise is doing as well as it is. It's because of everybody who was a part of our company, those from the past as well as today. Okay. Um, yeah, if, if there's nothing else, then I think uh, we're, we're good to go here. This was fun. I liked having the opportunity to kind of reflect on some of these yeah. topics and really think deeply about the last few months, mm -hmm. right? We never... It's like, go, go, go. And you never sit back and say, wow, we did have to do this. And yeah, we did have to do that. And so it was a wonderful opportunity. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. For more franchising resources, including how-to articles, expert advice, franchisee success stories, and franchise opportunities, visit FranchiseCanada.online. You can also learn more about franchising at CFA.ca and can connect with specific franchise opportunities at LookForAFranchise.ca. 